Hey guys, today I have time for a quick tool review. Let's get right to it because the missus is in a hurry today. I'm going to do my solar panel kit. I have a solar panel kit for lighting in my shop. Solar panel kit, I have two Harbor Freight solar panel batteries set up and wired. They were a little cheap. The uh, stud here broke off. I drilled a hole, put a bolt through it. Got the uh, mess of wires up here running in every direction because I don't have a lot of room in my shed. But basically that's the power bank with the Harbor Freight batteries. Then this is the power inverter from Harbor Freight. It is the Jupiter, the, the, the 3000 peak inverter, and the little computer module that comes for the solar panels. Now to actually see the solar panels, I'd have to walk you outside. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is pretty much show you that they're working. Like as you see from here, I have the little lights that came with the kit running over here. They're LED bulbs. They each have their own little turn off switch. Off, on, and then the other one's over here. It's a little turn off switch here. So I can turn it off right there. But then the top button turns them off as well. I hit the wrong button. There we go. That provides me light in here when the sun goes down. It provides power for everything I have running in this shop. The, uh, the, the solar panels go through the little inverter controller to keep the batteries charged but it keeps from overcharging them. And then from there I have them running out as a, as a deeper cell 12 volt battery. So I, I guess uh, I think it's called in series. Um, anyway, I've got them wired like that, so it's just, it's the same 12 volt output, but it, it's more power. So I turn this on, and I can use the power to, I can plug in my wall mounted plugs up here that charge my batteries, like my Craftsman charger, my Dewalt charger, my Milwaukee chargers, my HyperTuff chargers, my other Dewalt char uh, Milwaukee charger, and I charge regular house batteries with the power of the sun. I just shove some in. I got all these different rechargeable batteries. This isn't even a double A. This is a triple A. It'll fit in there too. Just like that. And I believe they're running off of this plug, actually. So I'll plug this one in. Let's see it. Unplug Milwaukee. Is that it? Yep. Free electricity. Now, to be, uh, be more precise though, this is not the solar panel kit. This is all the parts to the kit. The solar panels themselves, if you'll excuse the mess, are up here on the roof. There's two there, two there. They make a 100 watt solar panel kit. So each one is, um, well they're, they're less than 25 watts a piece because the whole thing is is um, well no yeah that's, that's right 25 watts a piece for a 100 watt solar system um, of course I've wired a spotlight in for behind the shed and a power source for behind the shed to the smaller inverter that is also ran to the batteries so that I have power sources behind the shed I have uh, light sources behind the shed and power sources over here near my work table that comes in very handy I uh, I did not have to run any power from my shed 
to my house and vice versa. I can run a grinder. I can run pretty much anything I need to run with it. And here's just a little, little test to prove I'm not spanking my weasel here. With everything else on, that's that's on, including the lights. Let's take a little time to see. I got it plugged straight in. That's the cable. Get this. Yeah, I just unplug it, put it away. I uh, I give Harbor Freight a four star. They didn't have any instructions on how to wire everything together so that you end up with this result. They did, however, sell it for this use, but I felt like they should have a little bit more uh, information for people to set stuff up like this. Because obviously this is what people are going for. People buy the solar panels and some people think, well, when you buy the solar panels, you can just plug stuff right into it. And that's, that's the end of it. You just, you, you plug things into your solar panels and that's not how it works. That's uh, how it works. You have to have something to hold the power that comes through. Then you have to have something to turn the power from battery source to wall power. Then you have to have a computer to make sure that the batteries don't get, you know, overcharged. But it comes with a whole bunch. All in all, I think I spent about 400 with the secondary battery. The inverter was a birthday gift, but I'm pretty sure that was rather expensive. I'll give it four stars. I give the inverter five stars. I give the batteries four stars. I give the computer five stars. It was a very nice little setup. I'm very proud of it. I think uh, Harbor Freight did very good there. I would like to say that I'm not specifically going to be doing Harbor Freight things. I have Craftsman, I have Waterloo, I have different kinds of wrenches. There will be plenty of tool, tool reviews that don't cover Harbor Freight. I'm just mentioning them to begin with. This one being quick because I've got to go. The, the missus is calling. Y'all have a great day.